Hi everybody. So it was suggested I do some readings and I thought since it's Palm Sunday I would start with the reading of Jesus's entry into Jerusalem from my trusty children's Bible. So the entry into Jerusalem. On his way to Jerusalem Jesus passed through Jericho. Jesus of Nazareth is coming. They say that he's the Messiah. The word went round from street to street. People crowded along the roadside to see him pass. Among them was a man called Zacchaeus, who wanted to see Jesus more than anything else in the world. He tried to elbow his way to the front of the crowd, but the people pushed him back. No one liked him because he was a tax collector and had Romans as his friends. He was a little man, and he knew that he would never see Jesus from behind all those people, so he climbed up a tree to get a better view. Jesus walked by. Hundreds of people thronged about him, touching him and being blessed by him. Suddenly he looked up and saw Zacchaeus in the tree. Come down, Zacchaeus, he called. Tonight I am going to stay at your house. The next day, Jesus set out for Jerusalem. He took two of his disciples inside and said to them, Go into the village on the slopes of the Mount of Olives. You will find a donkey there, which no one has yet ridden. Untie it and bring it here. They, bought, they brought the donkey to him and he mounted it. Then they climbed up along the stony, stony road that led toward the city. Wherever he went, the people threw their cloaks down in front of him on the dusty stones, as if they were laying a carpet for a king. Children plucked leaves off the hedges and scattered them before him, and he strewed flowers at his, and strewed flowers at his feet. Still more people came, waving branches they had pulled from the palm trees alongside the road. They sang, Hosanna, the son of David, he comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he. Don't let them say such things about you, master, said a Pharisee, who was shocked that the people would be so happy. But Jesus answered, I tell you that if the people were silent, the stones would cry out to welcome me. He entered the temple, followed by a great crowd of people singing and waving palms. The temple guards and the scholars and lawyers were outraged. Stop that shouting, they said, but no one took any notice. The priests and the lawyers turned away in anger. He must be arrested, they said. He is leading the people into rebellion.